And today we're going to talk about my image and Valiant comic book haul, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So we have quite a few Image comics and a couple of Valiant comics to take a look at here today. First up, we have Gordon and Orway, Wildstar number four from Image Comics. I always kind of liked the, uh, the design of Wildstar. I never really got into the comics, but I, I just kind of like the design of Wildstar. Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, definitely wanted to give him a try. Then we have, from Image Comics, Wildcats Adventures number 7. Uh, this isn't the standard Wildcats comic book. This is actually based on the animated series, which was on... Uh, I believe it was on USA Network. Either USA Network or TNT, I can't remember. Uh, but I really, that's how I was introduced to the Wildcats, was through the animated series back in the early 90s. Very nice. Then we have Wildcats Adventures number 8. Again, another tie-in to the animated series. Uh, it's been so long since I've actually watched or read Wildcats. Can't remember all their names. Uh, but eventually, the character of Grifter did become a part of... DC Comics. I'm not sure if the other Wildcats did or not, but definitely Grifter did. Then up next we have Super Patriot number three. Very cool, very dark cover. Then Supreme number six. A kind of image comics version of Superman for the most part. Uh, Extreme Studios, Brian Murray, Chris, and Ivy very nice then we have from James Ro James Robinson and Scott Hampton Gen 13 number 7 bootleg from Valiant Comics we have Exo Man of War number 14 featuring Turok uh, I never really got into the Valiant Comics but I've been seeing them a lot on YouTube uh, I figured I'd give them a shot. They had quite a few uh, copies of these issues at the old book barn, so I thought I'd pick them up. Then up next we've got Exo Man of War number 15. Very nice. And finally, Exo Man of War number 19. Again, these old book barn comics aren't in the greatest condition. But they're still nice to have and add to the collection nonetheless. Especially since everything's pretty much going to digital now and you're hard pressed to find actual, uh, actual comic books nowadays. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.